Getting people moving. That's what Danny Kazmarek's business is all about. He does that with a mix of aerobics, weightlifting, and full body exercises. Well, my goal as a personal trainer is definitely to get people healthy. But Danny told us his finances were anything but healthy. Between consumer spending and other debt, he and his wife were $75,000 in the hole. We basically charged everything. We didn't own anything. From the cars, to the TVs, to a new bed, to furniture for our new home. We didn't want to wait. We just wanted it now. The stress of this mountain of debt weighed heavily on Danny, who saw no way out. It's like a black cloud hanging over me, literally. Because at the time, you know, you're looking at your finances that are coming in and what you owe and what needs to go out. It was impossible. Then in 2009, Danny started tithing and giving to CBN after hearing a message on the internet and watching Pat teach about giving on the 700 Club. God turned me into a giver, turned me into a giver. It has been relentless giving ever since, never missed at all. As far as I can remember, since 2009, we've been giving absolutely every week of every month of every year. Danny says he saw God's provision when he landed a full-time job managing a fitness training program for a large company. When you start to give, God starts to give. It's like it, this exchange that is supernatural. I really can't explain it in words because tithing just flies in the face of reality. A year later when that job ended, Danny started doing his personal training business full time with outside clients. In the first year, probably a 70% gain. And then going into 2013, it doubled. And it's been that way ever since. Since going out on his own, Danny says he runs his business using a simple motto pay God, pay his debt, and lastly, pay himself. He does most of his giving online. And I feel I'm just on it. It's just very consistent, just like training. Consistency with giving, consistency with anything is gonna to lead to results. Danny soon plans to open his own gym where he lives in Dallas. All I can say, that's a favor of God. I mean, I, I don't know where this come from. I didn't ask for it, I wasn't looking for it. He's also been able to pay off over half of his $75,000 of debt. This is a mountain four years ago. They made a mountain where there's no way out. And all of a sudden it starts to disappear. Whew, dude, it's amazing. Tithing just doesn't make any sense to the world. It doesn't make any sense to some people in the church, but they gotta get it, they gotta trust. You gotta give, you gotta give, you gotta give. You become a giver. God reciprocates, and it's been that way nonstop.